the British tabloid press over here is brutal. It's like taking the US tabloids and multiplying it by 100. It is, as you said, as you pointed out, rightly so, you know, the, the curtsy, the, the scrutiny that went into that simple curtsy for Megan and, and the amount of papers that wrote about it. Did she do it right? Did she not do it right? Was it too deep of a bend in the knee? And that was just, that was just the beginning of really the constant um, barrage of ruthless articles and, and really uh, many, the majority of them untrue and embellishing them. And little things like in St. George's Chapel, you know, she didn't like the smell of it, so she brought in air fresheners. Well, I, I, as we know that William and Kate were married at Westminster Abbey and, and Kate brought in flowers to freshen it up. But that was okay to do, but it wasn't okay for Megan to freshen things up. So there was this real comparison between the two of them that Kate was put on a pedestal on everything that she does. And Megan was compared against that pedestal and was knocked down, you know, several, several steps constantly. I mean, it's, it's constant over here. No matter what you do, you're constantly being put down in the papers. And I think that, I don't think, I know that they both saw that, that she, you know, was really trying very, very hard to put every step forward, uh, the right step forward, and had every intention of making, you know, a real go at this and a real positive step for the royal family. Uh, in my view, she, uh, you know, it, it, there wasn't, there wasn't anything she could do. The, the media had turned against her.